The Fook Boom just released episode 69, part one of Skibby Toilet. I'm a little late to this episode because he literally released it right as I went to bed. So I just got up, reacted, and tried to do this as quickly as possible for you guys. In this episode, the agents go deeper and deeper into the base. This whole place looks like some type of an experiment gone wrong or an insane asylum for Skibby Toilets. We also get a brand new Michael Jackson toilet as an added cameo, but Plunger Cameraman loses it on Dark Speaker Man. So if you want to see it, make sure you guys stay to the very end. You don't want to miss it. I'm your host, Jason Schuyler. Don't forget to join my Discord and subscribe to my channel. We are on our way to 900,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Let's start the react. Yo, I can't believe we're on episode 69 already. The best episode. My favorite number. By the way, guys, episode 69, part one. I wonder how many parts this episode is going to come in. Let's go watch the episode. Whoa, this is two minutes and 40 seconds. This is going to be a long one. This is oh! Whoa, this guy's got like uh, Wolverine claws. And a mace? Dude, what is this, medieval? We gone back in time? Nice. I love the dark speaker mount. I think it's really cool. Yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on back there? Look look at these guys. <laughs> they're, they're all ganging up on this one toilet. One guy's like shooting a laser at him. One guy's hitting him with a, with a, with a bat. Poor dude. Whoa, 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 what is this, like a prison? This is the music. No, it's like a... That, well, that guy was on fire! Dude, dude. Skeleton toilets, wait, what is going on here? Look at the dancing! <laughs> yes! This is weird, man. They're deep inside this facility. And there's a lot of things we haven't seen here yet. A lot of, I don't know, experiments. Oh my god! Which toilet is this? Dude, you can see his augments. Like, he's, he's like mostly robotic. Look at his arms. He's mostly robotic. Whoa! Yes! Oh, come on, Dark Speaker Man! That was... Oh, that that had to. That was the finishing move right there. Good good teamwork, though. Good teamwork. Who do we got? Who do we got? Oh, they've been warned. They're, like, surrounded now. Oh, from all sides, too. Wait, wait, wait. Who is that? Is that from that movie... Uh, what's it called? The Clockwork Orange? That was a crazy movie. Yo, yo, dance it out, you guys. Dance it out. Let's go. <laughs> oh, snap. Wait, wait. No, it's Michael Jackson. We got the... Eh the... Eh Ow. Let's go, Michael. Oh, no, he's back. <laughs> Oh my god. Who would have thought Michael Jackson was in the Skibbity universe? Oh, they're angry. He's angry, man. POV's angry. Plunger. Is, is the POV still Plunger Caravan? Oh! <laughs> that stare was terrifying. What What an interesting episode. That was that was completely different than what we what we've seen so far in this series. I gotta I gotta watch Elite Cameraman's analysis on that one right away. Hello everyone, hey Elite, Elite Cameraman here. It finally happened. The Almighty episode. The 69 Almighty of sixty nine. I know arrived, you're waiting for this and it one. Looks like the stakes keep on. Elite Cameraman's been waiting for this episode for a long time because Elite's really sus and. 69, right? 69, sus, yes. Sir. Rising because at the end of today's episode, we saw that heroes have to make some hard choices and sacrifices for the greater good. But this was not all because it seems like there was an important time skip between episode 68 and episode 69, part one. Yeah, they seem like they're deeper the in the base. Is, the further they go, the worse it gets. I already mentioned that this place might have been the bottom floor of the toilet bunker in my last analysis. And if we look at the description of the new episode, Dafuk seems to confirm this. With what we saw in today's episode, I think the squad is trying to either hunt down the scientist's toilet or is trying to find the core of this bunker. 
There also was the leak that came out a couple days ago, which gave a small hint on what's going on. And it said, something secret steers us. Something secret steers us, which is probably the secret agent. Something secret steers us. Yes, it's got to be the secret agent. I, I personally think they're going into the base. I don't know. Maybe there's something in that base that they need to destroy that we don't know what it is yet. That would be interesting. Actually is a song from the soundtrack of Half-Life 2. Even though this is the case, I Half -Life think the name 2. itself was a hint at what might be going on. But before we get into all this, you need to make sure that you like the video. And I also mentioned that only 29% sure of you guys were subscribed to the Fook Boom and Elite Caraman and subscribe to my channel as well. All the links for these channels will be in the description box below, guys. Make sure you guys go follow them and watch the original videos. Let's get into this video. Episode 69, part one, literally starts with a jump scare and sets the tone instantly. Wait, does he have a valve? He's got a valve on his eye. Isn't that, isn't that from Half-Life? From Val Valve's logo? A strider-like small toilet attacks us, and this toilet actually is a reference to Valve who made the oh, Half-Life games. It is! We can literally see a Valve stuck on his eye, just like how the company Valve used I to have I love these Easter eggs the Fook Boom puts and in these videos. Again, we are in the POV of Plunger Cameraman, but because okay, of we are in the we are POV of see, Plunger Cameraman, okay. It's clear that a decent bit of time has passed, and Plunger Cameraman seems to have gotten some upgrades between episode 68 and episode 69. Man's Look at his head go hand. spinning. But this doesn't <laughs> stop Plunger Cameraman because he actually reveals his first upgrade. Slowly, four little blades come out of his right hand. Yeah, he's like Wolverine he now. Like, if you look at the ground when Plunger Cameraman knocks the valve toilet into the wall, we can actually see a human skeleton, yes. Dude. A real human skeleton. And these skeletons are actually scattered around the whole room. I think this actually might What's be one the of the skeletons? biggest hints we have gotten about the origin of the Skibidi toilets. Really? Because if there are actual human bodies here, this probably means that the toilets weren't the ones who made this place. Alongside that, one of the skeletons actually has a lab coat, and I think you know where I'm getting at. I don't know if this is the direction Dafuk is going, but there is a really good chance that the toilets actually were the results of some research and lab trials that went wrong. We can't really know what exactly happened if this is the case, but maybe these scientists were doing some experiments and created the toilets. As a result, the toilets went rouge and... Yeah, so it's, 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 it's a, it could be a few things. The, the toilets forced the humans to build the base and work for them, or some experiment gone wrong. So it could be a few things. I don't know where we're going to go in this series. We're getting tidbits, bit by bit here. ...started spreading like the virus. But this makes me think of what the secret agent wants. If this experiment theory is true, I think there are two possibilities about the secret agent that might also be true. Okay. There is a possibility that the secret agent is trying to search for the truth of the toilet's origin. Or maybe he also used to be a scientist at this facility, and he might be trying to fix his old mistakes. Maybe. We already know that he is a very smart individual because the gadgets he has are no joke. Yeah, and he has abilities 100%. that suppresses normal humans. I'm sure that we'll get to know more about this topic in the next couple episodes because that seems to be the way we are going right now. After plunger cameraman Yeah, it definitely killed. seems like like experimentation or something at this point right now because we got a lot of scientists, we got a lot of robotic parts. It seems it seems some type of lab thing gone wrong. I don't know. This we get the first glimpse of what we are about to see. At the beginning of the episode, we saw that there were locked Dude. doors on this hallway. But when we are There's looking people. at the dark speaker man, we see two toilets looking very scared from the inside. Why would they the lock up room? their own people, right? After like it's are these are these experimentations? For this, we slowly start walking through the corridor, and the first thing we see is a toilet that burning eternally inside the door. I think we can agree that he probably is one of the beings inside the whole Skibidi universe that has endured the most pain. If he's Bro. been burning like this ever since he was constant created. burning, that's the worst. After this, plunger cameraman Dude looks to hell. the right side, and we see a big-headed toilet <laughs> staring into the hallway. This probably is a reference to something or means something, but I have no idea what it is. If you do make sure to comment it down below, a second later we see the lucky cameraman going ahead of us with his tablet still in his hands to open the door. And we actually see one more human skeleton here, but that's not the only skeleton we see because plunger cameraman turns to his left. This and the is, last I love this one. room we see actually has what? skull toilets just like the berserk skeleton meme. After this, Plunger Cameraman Berserk. looks behind him and he sees the speaker man dancing while walking through the corridor and not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. The music kind of slapped right here. Let's and go. once we turn back, the door is open and we are entering a huge room. But before you continue, I want to let you know about the Roblox game I've been cooking up for a while. 
If you like Roblox and Yo, Toilet, look at that I'm Roblox to game. The game sometime in the next Congratulations, so Elite. You don't want to miss it. Make sure to join my group on Looks Roblox pretty good. after you finish watching the analysis. Anyways, let's continue. What way? Yo, hey, yo. cameraman enters the room, he looks to his left and his right to see what's inside. And we can actually see so much blood and a decent bit of toilet body wow. scattered around the place. There clearly have been fights here, but we have no idea what caused the fights yeah. or who fought the toilets. Seconds later, a cameraman so much gets marinara sauce us, on the floor. Should we be calling them mutant toilets? Because look at them. They're pretty much almost cyborg or half half cybernetic or half robotic. We should be calling them cyborgs now. I don't know. Man who looks just, like the camera who went berserk in episode 66. We can they clearly seem less see mutant. that he is different has a different vibe. Amounts of strength try to use screens, but I'm assuming that the man in time. But this doesn't stop the mutant toilet from holding the plunge drives in time and and screaming into him but thankfully the dark speaker man arrives yo in dark time, speaker man mvp right now with his two knives right before the mutant toilet throws him away nice and right at this scene we can also see another human skeleton on the Look right all... side and maybe the what's with all the, the bodies bodies in this room are left over from the first skeletons now we need to see the next episode to find out what's going on here human scientists we're getting a lot of little right easter after, eggs and tidbits the cameraman throws his plunger into the mutant toilet's head <laughs> completely destroying his head and yeah killing him. Right after the mutant toilet dies, the alarms start going off and we actually see the locked doors opening while other toilets start coming from the hallway and we actually see some weird mutant toilets coming as well. Yo, this has got to be like, um, this this whole place is giving me a, like, a, like a mental institution vibe, like a mental institution. We're in a mental asylum. D doesn't, are you getting the vibe from this? These are all, all these experiments that are like mentally unstable. But it does mentally seem like unstable. they are some failed mutant toilets because they are acting a little more stupid compared to normal. Stupid! While this is going on, the lucky cameraman <laughs> yeah. actually uses the remote he has I guess to close you can say the door that. to save everyone. But as we already know, this won't really work. Once we turn back, we see that the lucky cameraman has opened a couple doors already and is waiting for us. Nice. Everyone starts rushing to save themselves, and we see a huge toilet that has a similar set of head equipment to vacuum toilet tries to come out. Ooh. But the craziest thing happens. Here we go. We actually see the Michael Jackson toilet arrive Michael, at the scene guys. right before the bunker <laughs> door closes down. Thanks to this, Ow. the speaker man He's starts back. dancing. But this sadly was the stupidest thing they could have done because literally seconds later oh, after God. they start dancing the michael jackson toilet Dude, explodes the locked door they got destroyed and we get a good glimpse of him for a second michael's, and he really michael's is crazy upgraded a lot because Watch he has anything michael, ranging from buzz saws and claws but that's not the most important thing because the way he sounds is so freaking annoying and oh come on me go crazy if i was in the squad there it's not, it's the not that bad man really start rushing as right? fast as they can to escape from the michael jackson toilet yeah but there are two cameramen who didn't make it in yet and are far behind uh oh we also see a small oh, detail no. on the boxes and we're it losing says, so many characters in this episode six on it but i have no idea if this means anything probably not we have been seeing more and more small details as i don't think that means episodes, anything i don't know so i wanted to mention it the dark speaker man literally takes the remote from the hands of the lucky cameraman because he wasn't closing the door and he uses it to close oh, the door. No. Even though Plunger Cameraman says, wait with his hands, this leads the two cameramen to die. No. But this was a good decision by Dark Speaker Man because if he didn't take the matter to his own hands, everyone would have died. Guys, F in chat. We lost so many soldiers this episode. No. No. My buddies. This really shows us that sometimes heroes have to sacrifice for the greater good. Unfortunately. It also seems like this door that they closed is stronger because the Michael Jackson toilet doesn't even try to destroy it. Plunger cameraman slowly starts walking toward the dark speaker man, and we can actually see dark speaker man reflecting on his actions. But with his anger, plunger cameraman pushes the dark speaker man and actually punches him twice right before Ouch. punching a hole in the wall. Bro, not gonna lie, if Plunger Cameraman ever tries going for TV woman, I'm out. Blood literally <laughs> sees red. Plunger Cameraman looks outside of the glass door, and we see many toilets alongside the man, Michael Jackson. Man, Dark Speaker Man just took that like a champ. Respect to him. Toilet and Plunger Seriously. Cameraman does his signature move once more and flips off all of them <laughs> right before turning That's back. That's a signature and move, a middle squad. finger. I love it. It also looks like only five of them are left, and I think we can safely assume that only Lucky Cameraman, Dark Speaker Man, and the Plunger Cameraman will be left alive after next episode. That we lost so many people.
But look at look at look at look at how far deep down this goes. They're going deeper and deeper into the base. I, I don't know how much deeper they can get. They gotta be getting close to their objective now. They have to be. Pro probably at the end of episode at the end of all the parts of 69. I don't know how many I don't know how many parts 69 is gonna be, but I'm guessing three. I don't know. They're, they're pretty long episodes, so I, I can't wait for the next one, guys. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Elite, uh, subscribe to Duck Foom, D D Fook Boom, and subscribe to my channel as well, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I was a little late to this episode because it it literally dropped right as I went to bed and I woke up and I had to react. So I was I was I'm like, I don't know. I'm like 12 hours late to this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great night, everybody.